closed captioning is being provided by GigiCast, Global Broadcast Solutions. We are getting closer and closer. For one man, the country roots that run deep in his soul were developed at a very young age. Some say what started as a Chevy truck ride to the fishing hole has become a lifestyle for Colton James. Inspired by country music legends to this day, Colton continues to perfect his music career. The desire Colton possesses to help his neighbors and community is evident in every song he writes, as supporting family values and victims battling cancer give him just another reason to perform. Growing up in the outdoors of southeastern Virginia and being an avid outdoorsman is just a way of life for Colton. But when he's not singing or writing songs, Colton can most likely be found spending time in the outdoors with family or on the blue waters in search of his next catch. Now we're down here in Hatteras, North Carolina, looking for a billfish this morning. Got some flying fish right here, flying beside the boat. Good sign. Got some pretty water. We're looking for a sailfish. Hopefully we're going to get on one this morning. We're all pumped up. All right, we've got a beautiful sailfish here. We've got my son Austin here with me. This is awesome. Out here giving it all we got. You know, it's funny. You get to talking to people, and uh, you know, the the mate on the boat, Mike Edwards, was just started sharing a story with us right out there fishing about his battle with colon cancer and the the fight that he went through, stuff that he's endured. And uh, this guy's a fighter, man. And it was a real testimony to me hearing his story about his courage and his fight. And you know, he's not gonna die. He's gonna, he's gonna beat this thing. I was 24 years old and I was diagnosed with uh, prostate and colon cancer and uh, went through um, a time where they cut out a partial section of my colon and um, they actually went in and um, put a radiation seed or pellet in my prostate. And um, I know with, as far as cancer, sometimes, you know, it, when it first hits you, it's uh, really, really hard to begin to cope with, you know, what you're going through. And, uh, and sometimes even a death sentence can be given, so to speak, um, with the prognosis. And uh, it, your mind, you can go down, you can really get depressed. And there's a lot of people out there that um, have been through it and know positives to get you in the right direction. Um, but it's not necessarily a, a negative thing. I mean, it's, uh, it's something that just makes you stronger and you can work through it. The joy of fishing has been brought back to me by fishing on the tuna duck and I'm, uh, I hope to be here for many years for my customers and uh, hopefully get some tournament wins on my belt and, uh, you know, back to the economy picking up and the world changing around and everybody being happy. Yeti's Ultimate Hunt, out here fishing on the Tudor Duck, Hatters, North Carolina. We just got hooked up on a Wahoo on the right long rigger. And uh, this is the lure he's hit right here with a Valley Hill on it. And uh, this guy's did a fine job, pretty work. Got him in the boat. We're going to have Wahoo steaks on the grill, baby. On the way to Hatters, we got to stop by Lures Boats. And, uh, you know, they're. They've been such a big contributor to the ASL Cancer Research Fund. Great people. Well, what's really cool about this is I'm in the middle of rebuilding my 32-foot lures. It's got the twin Yanmar diesel engines in it. And uh, it was exciting for me because we got to go through and see firsthand the beginning to end stages of building these boats. 
and all the hard work that goes into it and all the great people that are building these boats. With the Lures Marine Group, we're very proud of our, of our boats that we manufacture here because uh, we're well known around the world and recognized around the world for our top quality and performance of the Lures Marine Group. Uh, here at Millville Manufacturing is the Lures Corporation uh, where we build lures worldwide sport fish. Uh, we start from the mole room in a 55 gallon drum of gel coat to the mill where we uh, build the lures with teak and uh, bring it into the modular stages for the main production and we also do our metal work here which includes the towers. Uh, Millville Manufacturing is in the heart of Millville, New Jersey uh, where it's uh, hard blue collar workers. Uh, we've been able to draw some very good talent in the area especially in, in mill work, uh, which is the woodwork that goes in our boats. Lures Marine Group is very pleased to be involved in the ASL Cancer Research Fund, and from our hearts, we want to defeat the disease of cancer, and someday, with your help, uh, we will be able to accomplish this. There is no downside to giving, and with the Lures Marine Group, and me personally, we hope to raise as much money as possible to defeat this disease. Together, as outdoorsmen, we will kill cancer. Text 4CURE to 50555 to make your $5 donation to ASL Cancer Research Fund. There was a time in America when you needed something that was built right here. It lasted for years, and you could be proud of it. For five generations, our family business has built thousands of high-quality boats right here in America. The American Classic 21 is built using modern composite technology with the heritage of old world craftsmanship. The ACM 21, classic style, exceptional quality. See us at AmericanClassicMarine.com. Duluth Pack gun cases and accessories are handmade and offer a lifetime guarantee. Shop DuluthPack.com for the highest caliber. Made in America. Guaranteed for life. Wild Ears are hearing protection and hearing boosters, all in one custom fit digital state of the art device. But don't just take it from me, listen to what these guys have to say. This is the hunting edge I've been looking for. Wild Ears are custom fit for all day comfort, state of the art technology that you won't, that you won't believe. You won't believe. Experience the edge the pros use. Hear like the deer here with Wild Ear. For more information, go to wildear.com. From the makers of Luminoc comes the incredible Luminaro. When you get that shot of a lifetime, you better be shooting the best that money can buy. Shoot the best and light it up. The incredible Luminaro, powered by Burt Coyote Luminoc. Independent tests confirm that the pins on a black gold are 20% brighter than the next brightest bosite. So bright that we had to use photochromatic technology to dim the pins in bright light. In low light, while the pins on other bow sites are growing dim, the pins on a black gold site are still perfectly bright. Be the last one out of the woods at night. Get a black gold site. We're done with disposable ice chests because we found Yeti. No more broken handles or busted hinges. No more crushed corners or caved in covers. Yeti coolers are tough. They're roto molded like kayaks, and they are certified grizzly bear proof. With thicker walls and a full frame gasket, Yeti coolers keep ice longer, a lot longer. Yeti coolers. Wildly stronger. Keeps ice longer. You can support the fight to cure cancer, along with these supporting companies. Muzzy, Black Gold, Scentlock, Luminoc, Wild Ear, Game Hide, Nikon, National Shooting Sports Foundation, Outdoor Edge, Duluth Pack, American Classic Marine, Phantom Lures, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Growing up with a passion for fishing, and today, when not performing, Colton James spends much of his time on the water in search of his next catch. 
meeting a fellow angler, enthusiast, and saltwater icon was certainly a dream come true for Colton, and more so today, as Guy Harvey and Colton James are good friends. I first met Colton James in August of last year at a fishing tournament up in the Mid-Atlantic, but I didn't hear him sing until he came to my big annual fundraiser in Fort Lauderdale for the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation, where he sang one song, Brave Men, and it, it really made a huge impact on the audience. I think everybody was pretty pretty struck by the, the power of the song. To the red, white, and blue, and I would bleed for the flag to make sure the stripes stay red. That's life that I've chosen. And so he made a unique design on a shirt with the words of Brave Men for his tours to wear on the stage. And uh, I think it's a pretty powerful image of one of my favorite fish, the blue marlin. He's a very keen fisherman too. And like me, he likes to engage with uh, the big game fish. So it's a good mix. As the friendship continues to grow between Colton and Guy, it's become more apparent that they share more than just the love of fishing, the outdoors, art, and photography. They also share the effects of cancer in their lives. That's the life that I've chosen, along with some other brave men. A common bond for many outdoorsmen is spending time in the field together. However, becoming more common around hunting camps is the bond of many that have experienced the impact of cancer in their lives. Sometimes devastating blows to loved ones shared, but finding comfort and support in knowing you're not alone in the battle or that someone else has experienced much of the same compelled to make a difference in one woman's life, one night, Colton James and a few renowned songwriters from Nashville diligently composed a song that many suffering can relate to. A good friend of mine called me one day and she said, I've got, a, uh, I've got something I want to fax you over. It's a story about a lady named Diane Stokel. At the top of the fax it said, circle of friends. And uh, I started reading, and each line just, just just cut deep into my soul because this is a story about what this woman had been through for several years fighting cancer. And what kept her strong was her family, her love of God, her friends, and just her love of life. Just really made me think, you know, what if it was, what if it was my mom or dad or my wife or one of my kids or one of my dear friends that uh, was suffering with this? Somebody that is suffering from cancer, not knowing how long they've got left, to just, you know, be so touched by something, and uh, it made me really think about life a whole lot. You know, meeting her and singing the song to her. And, uh, you know, it just, just makes you think, you know, what if you were in that person's shoes? And uh, it, it was, it, it's, uh, there's no words that can describe that. You know, I, I can only imagine what a person goes through when they're fighting cancer and they're thinking about, you know, is tomorrow going to be it? Is this going to be my last day? And that's what keeps her strong. Hi, I'm Tom Nelson. I'm the national spokesperson for the ASL Cancer Fund. I'm up here in Saskatchewan bear hunting, but back in Minnesota, the good doctors are on the ultimate hunt, the hunt to cure cancer, and they need your help. Together as outdoorsmen, we will kill cancer. Text 4CURE to 50555 to make your $5 donation to ASL Cancer Research Fund. We place this tick on a pair of Elimitic pants as you can see, he wants off. Elimitic is tick-repelling camo clothing with insect shield technology, a revolutionary process that fuses repellent to the fabric. It's odorless, EPA registered, and will last through 70 washings, the expected life of a garment. Elimitic flat-out repels ticks. Help protect yourself from ticks that can cause debilitating Lyme disease. Wear Elimitic. 
History has shown that success breeds success. As the original scent control leader, Scentlock helps hunters improve success with products tested in the lab and proven in the field. So if you're a real whitetail freak, trust your skills, trust your instinct, and hunt with Scentlock. More than the trade association for the firearms industry, the National Shooting Sports Foundation's mission is to promote, protect, and preserve hunting and the shooting sports. We promote participation, helping to bring more new people into the sport. We protect our sports from the field to Capitol Hill. We preserve hunting traditions and firearms freedoms for you and for future generations. Promote, protect, preserve. It's not just our mission, it's our passion. To find out more, visit nssf.org. Sweet. That is sweet. I want one of these. Slay Custom Rifles support the ASL Cancer Research Fund. Order yours today. Donations to the ASL Cancer Fund have been contributed by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. This portion of the ultimate hunt is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Well, our first night in Manitoba, the whole trip was action packed all the way up here. We roll into bear camp and uh, I knew they were gonna have a little get together and have a good time. Play. I heard a rumor of playing some music, but I had no idea I would roll up and would you know it, Jamie, the outfitter, is a drummer. <laughs> Pretty good drummer too. I look over and they've got a stage built, and uh, thought we were just gonna, you know, jam, play some music. Well, he ends up bringing in a whole band, all musicians from Canada, great players, and uh, we ended up having this killer jam session. Had a barbecue, bonfire, you know, crank the guitars up, rocking it out. Uh, just unbelievable. I, I didn't know we were gonna have that, but uh, it was awesome. So after finishing the concert, we're all hanging around and, uh, and Colton probably thought that he was away from cancer for a while and found out that Jamie's mom, Diane, is having her second operation for lung cancer in Brandon, Manitoba. In the winter of 2010, they diagnosed mom with lung cancer and had to remove her top left lobe. And we thought everything was going pretty well. They, they, even removed some some parts around it that looked sketchy and, and we were very hopeful but uh, a few months later they found more on the other side so she's been going through a lot of chemotherapy which well really really wears a person down not just the person going through it, but the entire family knowing that the the docs are doing what they're doing uh, with with uh, the help of this show, Raising Money for Cancer Research, it gives everybody, including my mom, a bright outlook, something to look forward to, and just a glimmer of hope that there will be a cure for this. That's what you want to see right there. Buddy, he didn't go very man. far at all. Man, he didn't go 20 yards. Here's your bear. <laughs> Good, man. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Cool. Golly. Oh, man, all right. <laughs> what do you think, pal? That's awesome, man. Well, First bear. Nice bear. With Bo. Bo Tech Invasion, man. Nice bear. Right on this guy. It was really exciting to have the guy there and all the hard work that he puts into it oh, man. pays off for his hunters and that's special to him. And uh, I can see everything he puts into it. He puts his heart, his soul, and uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like me in the music business. Uh, you're out on the road a lot, you're away from your family, you, you're putting 100% de dedication into what you love to do. And uh, he does that and uh, it was really cool to have him here and experience retrieving my first bear, and it's a moment I'll never forget, great experience. Colton's ability to express his passion through music and entertaining people just comes naturally. However, 
Being on stage in the bright lights can't compare to the devastating impact on someone's life when affected by cancer. You know, me and my family have been really blessed. Um, I mean, cancer does run in my family, in the James family, and uh, I've had four uncles that have uh, passed from cancer. And uh, one in particular, I remember being out of town, and um, my dad was calling me up, and he said, uh, he said, uh, you know, your Uncle Bell's not doing too too good, and um, you know, he really wants to see you. And he uh, he called me, and I said, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there in a couple of days. I've been I was out of town, and um, I remember a lady walking in the room, and she was with hospice, and uh, she said, well, Mr. James, we're gonna get you ready and and um, by 11 o'clock in the morning they'll be able to come pick you up and take you home and we'll, she explained to him what hospice was and and uh, it was just I remember sitting there just looking at my dad and and knowing how close they were you know I could see he was really tired in his face and um, um, it got time for us to leave and we all walked out of the room and I remember turning around for some reason and uh, I walked back in the room <clears throat> and I walked over beside him I grabbed his hand and I said I said I just want you to let you I just want to let you know that uh, I love you and we love you and we'll be back in a little while to get you and uh, he uh, he said okay buddy and uh, I just looked at him laying there and <clears throat> and he had fought so hard and tried to beat it and um, yeah, but, uh, anyway um, walked out of the room and we got down out of the hospital and we might have drove <clears throat> a couple miles away um, maybe five or ten minutes and I got a call on my cell phone and uh, Nellie told me he had passed away and uh, I said to myself you know <clears throat> he didn't have to go through that and uh, just knowing that he held on for three days waiting to see me and uh, I got to say goodbye the ASL Cancer Research Fund needs your financial support in the fight to cure cancer Log on to our website at ultimatehunt.tv, locate the donate button, and make your financial pledge today. Your donation will make a difference. Great achievements have a way of creating even greater expectation, like an uncompromisingly rugged hunting binocular built to defy the element. The all-new Pro Staff 7. It's what you'd expect from Nikon at a value that is unexpected. We're done with disposable ice chests because we found Yeti. No more broken handles or busted hinges. No more crushed corners or caved in covers. Yeti coolers are tough. They're roto molded like kayaks and they are certified grizzly bear proof. With thicker walls and a full frame gasket, Yeti coolers keep ice longer, a lot longer. Yeti coolers. Wildly stronger, keeps ice longer. You can support the fight to cure cancer, along with these supporting companies. Muzzy, Black Gold, Scentlock, Luminoc, Wild Ear, Gamehide, Nikon, National Shooting Sports Foundation, Outdoor Edge, Duluth Pack, American Classic Marine, Phantom Lures, Supercharged Scent Killer, by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%, and by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Being in the outdoors is a way of life for many, and the upbringing for this one man has established the direction of his life. But his ability to create music is reflected in his country roots, strong sense of family, and 
his infectious ability to make everyone around him have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, Colton James. All right, we're heading out to Dixon, Tennessee. To go shoot my first music video. We're pumped. A song called Date with Dixie I wrote with Greg Crow. We're riding along this bad to the bone Carl Black diesel Chevrolet. We're gonna go out and get this thing done today. And I got a date with Dixie tonight. With a bad place free and sweet home Alabama. There's good boogie and fishing in the dark. A little rambling man as a family tradition. Give me back my bullets and a country boy can't survive Sweet case the east behind the bar Shaking that thing, filling her tip jar All the boys ain't over to check out her new tag And the dance floors are hopping All the cowboy boots are stopping Another Friday night in Dixieland Where the band plays Freebird And Sweet Home Alabama There's good boogie and fishing Country music's what I love. I grew up listening to country music. Yeah. On the very first day, I heard the first country song that changed my life. And uh, I've always loved singing and performing for people. It's what I love to do. I've got a passion for it. Yeah, there's nothing else that fires me up more than getting on stage and rocking it out. And uh, I kind of had that mentality uh, the day we were shooting the video. And I just said, oh, man, I'm going for it. I'm going to just get wide open with it, go over the top, do whatever, <laughs> just have fun. In that red, white, and blue neon sign has been flashing Dixie since 69. She's just south of the Mason Dixon line. With a band plays free. Sweet home Alabama There's good boogie and fishing in the dark If you'd like to help support the doctors in their fight to cure cancer, log on to our website at ultimatehunt.tv. There you will find information and updates about the show and ways you can support and donate to the doctors and their research.